Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of April 11 to April 17, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Sagittarius, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's see your energy for the week. All right, spirit angels and guys, show me the energy of Sagittarius in regards to love for this week. First card we have is the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Three of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the World card. Okay. So there's some sort of painful ending here or painful separation. I almost feel like you're trying to come to terms with with the outcome with the current outcome of a connection or relationship you were a part of. We have the three of swords, so some of you are feeling very heartbroken here and disappointed. Yeah, I think this is you. I think you were expecting this, this new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups. Some of you were expecting to be you were, you were expecting to be offered this ace of cups and i think you're feeling a little bit like stranded you know like um or is that the word like yeah stranded like the five of pentacles left out in the cold maybe even like abandoned or forgot forgotten definitely like um unappreciated or unloved um you feel like this person doesn't care about you whoever it is that you're dealing with or they don't care enough There's a frustration here with this Knight of Swords because I feel like this is um, you. Yeah, that's your energy, Knight of Swords. Um, there's a frustration here because you feel like there was a lot of potential or, or like this could have been something worthwhile. But somebody didn't show up like some somebody didn't show up for you they're absent they walked they walked away or they um they disengaged from this connection but the thing is that you're here left left with all these feelings with the king of cups you're left with all these feelings and it's like you don't know what to do with them 
Some of you had a lot invested in this person and you feel maybe even like taken advantage of or backstabbed even. Some of you might feel backstabbed or betrayed. Because I feel like you trusted, you trusted someone and they didn't, they didn't come through. Let me see what else. Oh, there's that five of pentacles I was feeling. King of swords, six of wands, five of pentacles in reverse. King of swords, six of wands. But some of you are like waiting for this person to like say something, do something. I feel like this is your energy too, this king of swords. So I don't see you necessarily chasing this person because some of you feel like that would be unfair for you to chase this person. You feel like that would be unfair. Because you're not the one who caused the separation, is what I'm guessing here. Or you're not the one who caused this this conflict. So you're not you're not the one that should have to fix things or repair things. But I feel like you're tempted with the Six of Wands energy, even with this Knight of Swords energy, uh, and the King of Cups energy. I feel like there's there's temp there's a temptation. You feel tempted to to go after this person, to get answers with the Knight of Swords, to get an an answer, to get a some of you an explanation. Yeah, so you feel tempted, but I feel like you're not doing anything here. You're not going to chase them because with the King of Swords, you feel like you would be kind of um, giving off the wrong idea by doing that. Yeah, it's like you don't want this person to get the wrong idea of you. Like you're not you're not a fool basically. You're not a fool and you don't want this person to um mistake you f for a fool. Okay. Six of Pentacles Tower Lovers. Could, could have been with a Gemini for some of you. We have Virgo and Cancer. The moon, magician in reverse, and the knight of wands. Yeah, this, this is the temptation I'm talking about here. Moon, magician in reverse, knight of wands. You feel really passionate about this person, don't you, Sagittarius? I think you there's a lot of passion that you have for them, a lot of desire that you have for them. But you're coming up also in the upright position here with the king of cups. So... You also know your worth, you know? You know your worth. You know your value. And as much as much pain as you might feel or disappointment or even anger for some of you, frustration or anger, like you're you're not letting that cloud your judgment, you know? It's almost like you know that there's nothing that you did wrong or like there's nothing there's nothing else you could have done. I think you feel good with what you gave, you know. You gave you gave this person the best of you for some of you or like you know, you did the best you could do. And you're kind of at peace, I suppose. I, I feel like, yeah, because King, King of Swords is upright, so it's like you're you're at peace with yourself. 
So it's kind of like the ball is in their court. Okay, let's move on now to your person. See what's going on with them. All right, spirit angels and guys, show me the energy of the person Sagittarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. First card we have is the Three of Cups. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Page of Swords. Could be an air sign here, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. We have the Nine of Cups. Knight of Swords in reverse. Eight of Cups. Water and air we have here. Water, water and air. Okay, at the bottom we have six of wands. They also have the um, ace of cups here showing up. Six of wands, ace of cups, two of wands. All right, let me just take a quick look here. Three of cups, five of swords. Hmm. All right, well, they're, they're, they're indecisive. Yeah, they're indecisive here. Um, They want to get back together with you, though, with the Three of Cups. They want to reconnect with you. But, like, under what condition, though? Because I feel like this person has conditions with the Five of Swords, you know? They have demands, basically. And I don't know if they have a right to have demands, you know? I mean, just looking at your, your, your energy, Sagittarius. I'm not sure if they're in a position to to put conditions or demands. But I feel like whether they do or whether they don't, this is someone who kind of expects something from you. The Five of Swords normally is kind of unfair though. So I kind of feel like this person might have unfair expectations from you. And it's like they want they want um, this reunion with you. Three of Cups can be like a reunion or to reconnect with someone. I mean, we do have the Ace of Cups, so they want to kind of start over with you or have a new beginning with you. But they're not willing to be fully vulnerable with you, you know? It's like they're coming, they want to come back towards you um, at a 50% level. They wouldn't be coming back to, towards you 100%. There's something holding this person back. Let me see what else we have here. Justice in reverse, the emperor in reverse, temperance. Justice in reverse. Temperance. Mm. There's a lot of, I think this temperance is healing. This person needs to heal a lot of personal issues is what I'm feeling, honestly. I don't even feel like it has these, their issues have anything to do with you. I feel like it's with themselves. 
they need to heal something or they need to let go of something um, in order for them to fully commit to you. There's something that's bothering this person. There's something that's unhealthy um, with this person that's, that's connected to this person. And it's troubling them and it's kind of creating a challenge here and creating an obstacle. Um, but it's not something that's related to you. Like I said, it's so like there's nothing you can do about that. That's that's with themselves. Anything else? Let me see. Tower, three of pentacles and the six of swords in reverse. What's the tower? Tell me about that tower, spirit. The five of wands, there's conflict there. And the judgment card in reverse. Yeah, you know, I really feel like it's up to them. I really do feel like the ball is in their court and they have to make a decision here with the judgment card if they're ready to resolve the issues that they need to resolve, if they're ready to confront the issues that they need to confront. Because I don't feel like they've been confronting them. I feel like they've been kind of hoping that things will get fixed on their own or they're just hoping that, or like they've just been putting it to the side, not fully addressing it or like working through it. What's the Three of Pentacles for it? World in reverse and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is someone who has feelings for you here with the Queen of Cups. They want to find a solution. They want to find a way to like be able to work together with you. But they're battling themselves, okay? With the Five of Swords, they're battling themselves. They're battling their own mind and their own fears and insecurities. Tell me about the Five of Swords, Spirit. We have Four of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a beautiful opportunity. Ace of Pentacles is here, so a beautiful opportunity to, to bring something back to life and to, and to do it better, you know, and to bring it back in a better way. Yeah, to kind of restore something and act and restore it in a better way than it was before. So it's like the opportunity is there. So it's up to them whether they want to let go of their insecurities, fears, ego, and and make the change that is overdue make the change in their life that is overdue. Yeah. All right, that's um that's what I see. I'm going to I'm going to continue in the extended reading Sagittarius now. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person. I'm going to see what are their real feelings for you. What are their real intentions and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.